Brett Favre was must see TV. Instant excitement. He's also one of the funniest guys in NFL history, so that helps. Hey, you got any left handed footballs? He definitely needs to be higher than eight. I, I don't know who made this list. I think he's one of the most overrated players in the history of sports. That's awful. Favre was a guy who could do calculus, but he couldn't always add or subtract. It was sort of like a reckless abandon in the way he played. As a Chicago Bears fan, I had to suffer for, through many seasons of him putting us through absolute hell. He's going to go for the He's going to go. I hate him. I just hate him. Once again, let's have a little fun. Let's try to get it in the end zone early. Brett Favre landed at number eight on our list with some of the biggest numbers ever. He retired as the league's all-time leader in pass completions, yards, and touchdowns. Right between two defenders. Who can throw it better than Brett Favre? And he did it all with his own unique style. Just the way they drew it up, huh, fellas? If we were playing backyard football, he'd be number one on everybody's list. Brett Favre creates plays. He was definitely the only person that was taking the X's and O's and, like, going off playbook. Uh, Brett was fun. And Daryl Thompson is tackled by Brett Favre. Brett Favre is a hating mother. Quarterbacks weren't supposed to get smacked around and get up and talk trash to guys. Who hit me? Brett wasn't worried about that at all. In fact, for him, smacking him around might have been the worst thing you could do. I was just hitting I thought you hit harder than that. He probably smells like leather and America. He belongs in Wranglers. <laughs> I'm a big fan of his, so I mean, he, that kid's tough, man. But Favre was awfully good. Favre won a Super Bowl and three league MVP awards, but his most impressive number may be his record 299 consecutive games. Suck it up, now. Let's suck it up. Part of what separates him is the fact that that guy took such a beating, most sack man in NFL history, and he doesn't miss a game. Chip, my dude's right there, didn't I? Oh, yeah, you did. Coachable to a point, but you're never going to coach Brett uh, Favre yeah, out of yeah. being Brett Favre. No more rocket balls, please. Well, I've teamed up. No, I know. I'm not sure if you can put a quarterback in the top 10 all time who has some game defining interceptions as he had in the postseason. The pick in the NFC Championship game against the Giants. And his interception with Minnesota having a chance to knock off New Orleans. Intercepted. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Live by the Favre. Die by the Favre. Favre at eight. That seems low. That seems a little low. That may be too low. He's got to be in the discussion because he won three MVPs. I think number eight is a true testament to his longevity, his toughness. For me, I like a guy who makes a little less mistakes than Brett Favre if you're going to be a top seven, top eight guy.